YouTube, it's Lena, and today I'm doing a tutorial on a Hulk inspired eye look. So if you stay tuned, I will teach you how to get this. Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today to give you a eye tutorial. I am actually doing a Hulk look from the Avengers, or the Avengers Age of Ultron, which is out right now. So I've already primed my lids. I used the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, if you are so curious. And I'm going to bring you in so that we can actually, you know, see my eyes. I've already done my mascara. I've already done all my other makeup. This is the only thing that's left. So first I'm using a base. I'm using the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil right there and i prefer to rub this on my fingers to warm it up a bit but you could just apply it straight to the lid any sort of like matte either white or skin toned base will work for this in theory you could totally go with a green one as well because the main eyeshadow i will be using is a green one I just keep around the white because it is pretty universal. I can use this basically with any eyeshadow that I want to and it makes the colors pop. There we go. Now the first eyeshadow that I'm using is the NYX Primal Colors Eyeshadow in Hot Green. And it has been one of the closer actual true Hulk green colors I can find. It's coming off a little more lime on camera, but I promise you it's really close. And I'm taking, actually this is the eyeshadow brush out of my Urban Decay Electric Palette, which I will be using in a minute for the purple. So I'm just going to get a lot of that green eyeshadow and then just pack it on. all over the lid. You could see some fallout, that's okay, that happens. We will just dust that off later. Now this is actually a pigment, not technically an eyeshadow. So if you're a little uncomfortable using these kind of things near your eye, you could always find another color. But I've used this before, it didn't stain, it didn't irritate my eye or anything like that. So you should be fine. Although, you know, if you have sensitive eyes, feel free to do like a patch test or something like that first to see if it does anything strange. There we go. I'm going to take a second and dust off all of this. All right, as you can now see, I do have tape on my eyes as well. That is because what I'm going to be doing next is a winged look. And I'm not quite good enough to do wings on my own, so we're going we're going with the taped look. I'm using masking tape because that's all I can find right now. Regular old scotch tape will work fine for this. The next color I'm going to be using is this color called Urban from my Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I will be using an e.l.f. blending brush. And, like I said, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a color, color block. I'm not going to super blend it in. But you do kind of have to layer this a little bit so that you will get the color to go over the green. Although the electric palette is really pigmented, so it's not too bad. And I'm just going to take that over to the other eye as well. And it is really hard to see when your eye is taped off.
Now, as you can see, I'm trying to stick to the outer third of my eye. Like I said, not going to be doing a lot of blending. But a little bit never hurt anyone. So like I said, you really kind of want that color blocked look going on. And now we're just going to peel this off. So as you can see, we get a nice sharp edge. Oh, I hate how that feels. And the last thing that we're going to be doing, and you can always clean this up afterward, is we're taking that same urban color and I'm taking a liner brush. This is also from the palette itself, but any liner brush will do. And we're going to go all the way under the eye. And just connect it with the rest of that wing. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I was out of frame. And that's going to be it. Definitely gives it a little bit of that costumed, you know how the superheroes, when they do disguise their identities, wear the, the mask on their eyes, it gives it a little bit of that as well. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.